hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to create laravel project from the scratch where we will install jam server setup composer and create laravel project okay guys to install jam server what you need to do is go to google and you need to google jam server So the first thing which you will get is the Apache friends link. So just click on that link and you will be redirected to the download page where you will have the options to download it for Windows, Linux and the Mac OS. For now I am going to execute this on Windows so let's download the latest version which is the 8.0.7 PHP and we will download the 64 bit. So it might take a while to download this. Alright, the file is downloaded, so let me open the executable files. Just click on this. You'll get some warnings, but don't worry about these warnings. So again, this will pop up a setup page and you just need to click on the next. Now this is an important page or screen where you need to select the components, whatever you want to install. So for example, for server Apache is a must. Then you have MySQL, FileZilla, the Mercury, Mail Server, you have Tomcat Server and all of these servers play a different role for different purposes. So better you install all of them, it's not that heavy and does not affect your computer as much as any other application out there. So click on the next. In this screen you need to select the path where you want to install the Jam server. For me I'm going to select the default one, so just click on next. And in this screen you can select the language you want to install. For me it's a default English. Ok now click on next. Now this will open a web page the moment you start the installation so don't worry about that. Now the setup is ready just click on the next. And it will start the installation process. Now this installation might take 5 to 10 minutes depending upon the internet connection you have. They are unpacking a lot of packages and installing them. So please wait for a while. Once the installation is done, you can see this final screen where you can click on finish. So on the left side you can see here we have different modules Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury and Tomcat. And on the other side, PIDs, ports and actions. If you want to start the jam server, just click on start. And for the MySQL, you can click on start. Okay, now the Apache and MySQL server, they are running. Apache, it's running on port 80 and MySQL, it is running on port 3306. Okay guys, we have installed the jam server. So let's set up the composer. To install the composer, let's open the browser. Here you can type for composer install or composer download you can type. Here you'll get uh, getcomposer.org click on this link and you'll be redirected to this screen. Ok you might be on this screen so if you are on this screen then you can click on download and here you can download an executable file for composer setup. Download and run composer setup.exe you can download this by clicking on it. Ok, it's already downloaded and you can click on this. This is the pop-up screen you can see. Just click on install for all users. Alright, you can see this screen now. So you can just click on next. Ok, here you can select PHP. It is inside the jam folder. Now click on this. Add this PHP to your path so that it will be added globally. So click on next. Ok, for this proxy setting, you can escape click on next ok now here we have php version 8.0.7 so click on next for installation here you can see some of the messages are pop up our installation is almost done after the installation you may need to restart your computer if you have any problem so click on next now click on finish ok let's check whether composer is installed or not open the command line here you can type for composer yeah, all the properties related to Composer are available here and also you can see the version of Composer 2.1.3 is installed now. 
This is the latest version we have installed. Ok that's it, Composer is installed in our system. Ok guys, now we have already set up Jam Server and Composer. So we are ready to create a Laravel project. For that, let's follow the Laravel documentation. Let's start the browser. Here you can type for laravel.com and here you can click on documentation. This is the documentation you need to follow for the Laravel project. So here you can see the latest version that is 8. If you want to switch to other versions then you can select from here. So I'll be installing latest version so let's click on this. Now here you can follow the installation process and if you, need, if you want to know more about Laravel then you can follow this documentation. For the installation process, we'll follow this documentation. Here you can see installation by a composer. We have already installed composer in our system. So we are going to create a project by a composer. So click on this link. Here you can create your Laravel project in two different ways. One is using the composer and another is Laravel installer. Composer is already installed in our system, but Laravel installer is not set up in our system. If you want to set up Laravel composer, then follow this documentation. Okay, so that you can create like using this command you can install the laravel installer so that you can create a laravel project using the laravel command itself so for now i'm going to create a project with the help of composer and let's go to the folder where you have installed jam server i have installed jam server inside the c drive and inside jam and we'll be adding our project inside the sc docs so here we, what you can do is you can click on this section and here you can type cmd so it will automatically open the command prompt pointing to your folder. Okay, here you can type your command. Let me type it here. We have composer create project. Composer create hyphen project laravel slash laravel and example hyphen app is your app name. Whatever you want, you can give your own app name. CMS underscore demo is my laravel project that I'm going to create. You can give your own. So it might take a couple of minutes to install. Here all the composer files and the packages that are related to Laravel will be installed. Ok now project is set up. So let me check it. Ok here you can see cms underscore demo. This is my project and all the files are here so now let's run the project first to run the project let's go inside the folder our folder name is cms underscore demo here you need to run the php artisan serve ok now project is running so let me run it from my browser 127.0.0.1 is to a thousand Ok now our Laravel project is running so if you have any doubts and queries please comment in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel.